we, we back. Yo, what's cracking up? <coughs> As you can probably tell, not really feeling too good at the moment. But it's cool. We out, we out here, man. <laughs> we, we, we out. But one, one thing I realised is, um, yeah, about four months ago, I posted a video of like dumbbell only push workout, right? Then literally, in that video said, I'm going to make a leg and a pull one. And I never did it. It was my own shit that I was going through, but today, that's, that's what we're going to do in this video right here. So I want you to smile. Look at this setup that I've had to use just to get this video done because this weather's been moving booky, bro. Now, just a bit of fine print. Teach Me Tuesdays aren't going to be every single Tuesday, but they are, they will show up on a Tuesday. So we're back. I'm probably still going to stay in this vloggy format, though. So if you don't like it, <laughs> swivel. You naughty, naughty. So straight into the workout, I split into kind of not three parts, but like three sections. So we've got the warm up section, then we've got the superset burnout section, then we've got the main component in the middle. So the first two exercises doing the warm up is to like open up the hips, get the motor patterns going, and that kind of stuff. So we started with a banded good morning squat. Now, I probably do this a bit differently to other people, but I found that it helped to do it this way to make sure that you're opening the hips, you're not letting your knees cave in and, and that. So do the good morning. And then when you go into the squat, you push your knees outside of the band. Not with the band on the outside of your knees. No, they go on the inside of your knees because then it's not, we're not worrying about the resistance of pushing your legs out. We're worrying about you going through the motion of pushing the hips out and opening the hips to sit deeper into a squat. Before then going into side lunges, so these side lunges are just kind of like, they're weighted but not heavy. I'll probably start with body weight and then add like a dumbbell, but this is about easing yourself and easing the hips. A lot of us, because we sit at a desk a lot of the time, we're gonna have tight hip flexors. So this is like easing that into what we're gonna be doing because we don't want tight nothing. You know what I'm three sets of 15 on the banded good morning squat and then three sets of 10 on the side lunges and that's basically 20 reps. So 10 each side, 10 each leg. Then the main portion of the workout, I don't go, I didn't jump straight into squats for a reason. Squats, it's always the same thing. Oh, we're gonna train legs, do squats. Oh, we're gonna train legs, do squats. But there's other exercises, there's loads more exercises. So what I wanted to start with was a devil lunges. They're called devil lunges for a reason because they're just, they're just horrible. You're gonna throw, do a snatch, and what you wanna do is stack your shoulder. So you want it not, it's not gonna be completely straight, but you wanna stack, stack it above you, otherwise you're gonna fall forward, you're gonna fall back. So it's for three sets of 10, each leg. So then we move on to single leg Romanian deadlifts. I think these are really good because it, it forces you to one, have a, a very solid core and upright position because you're holding the dumbbell here, so you have to. And also there's more focus on one leg. A lot of people have muscle imbalances. There's always gonna be a dominant side. So this kind of eliminates. The back leg is literally to support you. It's nothing else. You don't push off it. You don't rest on it. It's literally just to kind of like guide you and make sure that you don't tumble and shit. And then there's a the split lunges, which I love to hate them, but they've really added to my progress. And these are for three sets of eight to 10 each leg. And then we finish this portion with the front squat. Front rack squat with dumbbells is, is, is horrible, but it, it works wonders and it is, it's just a great exercise. Then moving on to the last bit, which I call, I like to finish workouts with a blood filler. I mean, I don't think there's any like scientific um, things that back it up. But every time I use this type of system, where I have like a blood filler exercise at the end, I have less doms. It, it just doesn't feel as bad. So we've got a single leg glute bridge, which again, still sticking to that unilateral theme. And these, these just burn. Not many guys do this, but it's really great for your hamstrings and your glutes, especially if you're like into sport power comes from your hamstrings, like a lot of power comes from your hamstrings and glutes. So neglecting the glutes because, oh, I don't want to do booty day, is just ridiculous. And then this is super set with banded hamstring curls. Get a heavy dumbbell. Wrap that around there. Two sets of 10 and two sets of 15, respectively. And that is it. That is part two of three of the dumbbell only exercises. I'm actually probably going to record the pool session now, so expect that real soon. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. You know what I'm saying? And we out you, mate. You know what to do. Smash the ting, yeah? I hate it when people walk past and they just stare at me while I'm trying to make a video.